evening. I'm Cindy Needbala, and I come bearing an invitation to all of the women in the parish. The Holy Family Retreat Center in West Hartford will be hosting its women's retreat on April 5, 6, and 7, and the women of St. Teresa of Calcutta Parish have been personally invited to attend. There are applications um, at the back table. And the theme is No Ordinary Path. God has called all of us to live lives of holiness, and no ordinary path will explore the ways that we can be attentive, intentional, and cooperative with God's grace in serving the world. That's the theme. It's an amazing weekend, great speakers, wonderful food, soft beds, warm blankets, and just friendship with other women. So I urge you to please consider it. Again, there are applications uh, on the back table, and you can go to the website for further information. Thank you. Good evening. We welcome you to Our Lady of Sorrows Church of St. Teresa of Calcutta Parish and this Holy Mass. There are a few announcements. Strength and Tone will be held Tuesday at 1, followed by Body Balance at 2.30. Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. Please see the bulletin for, and website for a schedule. St. Joseph's Fish Fry begins this Friday and doors open at 4. The Third Order of Mary will meet Friday at 645 to assist with the Stations of the Cross. Stations of the Cross will be held at both churches at 7 p.m. on Fridays during Lent. Please turn off your cell phones. Join me in reciting the prayer for vocations located at the back of your missalette. Jesus, our brother and our eternal high priest, you told us that the harvest is great, but the workers are few. You ask us to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send workers into his fields. Give to our church for the world today true leaders from among our families and friends in the Diocese of Norwich. Give them the willingness to answer your call to serve as priests, deacons, sisters, and brothers. May we all have the strength and courage to serve you and your people in whatever way you call us. Amen. This month's spirituality circle of prayer is for our Lord's continual guidance of our two, two churches as we proceed in our merging progress. Today we celebrate the eighth Sunday in ordinary time. This mass is offered for our Guy Angers. Please stand and join me in the entrance song, hymn number 546.
the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all my dear brothers and sisters in the presence of god let us acknowledge our sins and ask for god's pardon I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that we have greatly sinned. My thoughts and my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, most grievous fault. Therefore, we ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in a devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. 
When a sieve is shaken, the husks appear. So do one's faults when one speaks. As the test of what the potter molds is in the furnace, so in tribulation is the test of the just. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So too does one's speech disclose the bent of one's mind. Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that the people are tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. First letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when this which is corruptible clothes itself within, with incorruptibility, and this which is mortal clothes itself with, with immorality, then the word that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be firm, steadfast, always fully devoted to the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person, out of the store of goodness in his heart, produces good. But an evil person, out of a store of evil, produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We basically know the Bible. We know most of the stories in the Bible, and we know the important teachings of Jesus. When I read the Gospel, can a blind person guide a blind person? We know that. A good fruit, a good tree does not bear rotten fruit. We know that. But knowing is not enough. Even the devil knows the Bible. What is important is internalizing and realizing the values and live them. That that's the most important thing. So in preaching, we should not be preaching to you. Do not tell a lie because you know that. We know, but we do. And Jesus told this parable not to impart knowledge that people can realize and live this value. Let me tell you something about realization. At every Mass, we begin the Mass with a prayer. I confess to Almighty God. Every one of us say that prayer, but do we realize the fact that we are confessing to everybody here, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I sinned. 
if we realize that, we would not say this prayer without some feeling of guilt or shame. But if we say the prayer without feeling anything, that is the point. Realization is very important. Jesus is speaking about judgment. The great Solomon, when he was made king, God told him, you can ask anything from me. And Solomon told the Lord, Lord, you have given me a great nation, but I am young. I do not know how to judge. I do not know what is right and what is wrong. So give me the gift of wisdom. And God gave him the gift of wisdom that Solomon might know what is right, what is wrong. And what is right and what is wrong the first portion of the gospel today. What is right is, look into your eye and take that beam out. What is wrong? Don't look into the eyes of somebody else and tell them you have a splinter that is very small. That is wrong. So when we say, I confess to Almighty God, we judge ourselves. We take responsibility through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, my, not we. So we judge ourselves. And Jesus is telling, look into your eye and take that beam out. Before you even look into the eyes of somebody else. That is a value. And we should internalize this value. That we can try to live by not judging anybody. Most of the times, we live in prejudgment. Let me take one example from the Bible about prejudgment. Philip told Nathaniel, we have seen the Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth. And what is the prejudgment of Nathanael? Can anything good come from Nazareth? So according to Nathanael, nothing good could ever come from that town. But in history we know the best of the best came from that town. But by prejudging, Nathaniel missed it. And he was the loser. So when we live in prejudgment, we are the losers. Because we fail to see the truth. And how do we come to know the truth? Jesus continues, a good tree gives only good fruits. A bad tree gives only bad fruits. So by the fruits, you will know the tree. 
by the actions you will know people so why to judge should we judge a tree a good tree always produces good fruits a good person always produces goodness why to judge there is another value that we come to know people by their actions by what they produce so if i apply that to me if i produce goodness then i am good if not i am not so begin with oneself again and again we speak about realizing these values so today our prayer is this like a good tree that produces only good fruits we are praying today that god may make us good there is a difference between a tree and a person a tree has a nature and that nature cannot be changed a good tree has good nature that cannot become a bad tree and vice versa but a good person may become bad the nature can change and a bad person may become good so our prayer is that god may change our nature to make us good as we read in the psalms lord take the heart of stone from me and give me a heart of flesh today in this mass we are praying for that that as individuals god may give us a good nature that we may produce goodness a peaceful person gives peace a joyful person gives joy may god make us good peaceful and joyful now let us profess our faith i believe in one god I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, God, light from light, true God, God, God from true God, God begotten of God, consubstantially the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was in the heart of the Virgin Mary and became man. man. For our, our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered death of and was buried and, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He will come he again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and, the dead. And, the dead. and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess on baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In prayer, God helps us to see a log to be removed from our eyes 
We present these prayers confident that God supports the world with grace. That the church humbly accept just criticisms and always look for ways to better proclaim the gospel of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That peoples of every nation deepen a commitment to civil speech and through family practice, cultivate the minds of all young people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That society may continue to value the contribution of the elderly and seek new ways for wisdom to be shared among the generations. Let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> Lord, hear our prayer. That all people of faith excel in the works of charity, giving thanks to God for blessings without number. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those among us who are facing death may have the strong support of family and community and be assured of the victory that awaits the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to religious persecution in our world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection of our school children, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased of our parishes, and especially we pray for Kitty Fuller, Grace Stalsberg, and Valerie Waronik. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions we voice in the silence of our hearts. <coughs> May all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, be joined to those of our Blessed Mother, St. Joseph, St. Teresa of Calcutta, and all the saints who stand before the throne of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us thank you, Lord our God, and through these prayers, profess your steadfast love for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in singing hymn number 431, Be Not Afraid. <laughs>
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands. hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all this holy church. O oh God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, he encounter obligation as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion. We ask of your mercy that what you grant us as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins, and by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O oh Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. He and so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without the end we acclaim. <laughs> of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willing clean to his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, he and he of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was, he ended. He took a chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, he and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, he in eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, he and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, ye and all the clergy. Remember ye angers whom ye have called from this world to yourself. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. He and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Teresa of Calcutta, in all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called 
to the supper of the Lamb. No, I am not worthy that you should enter into my the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh 
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> we have a beautiful ministry in our parish, the prayer shawl ministry. Would you please come, the prayer shawl people? You're here. There are about 15 ladies, right? Ladies, basically. Yeah. About 15. And two Wednesdays in a month, they come to Motor Hall and they knit, crochet with prayers. And of course, they have a nice time there. So anybody who is retired, you know, can think about joining them. And these prayer shawls are given to the people. Those who, those who are sick and those who grieve as well, you know, we give them. Whenever I go there to the meeting, we bless the shawls. Today, I want you to participate. Come closer, please. Here. Come close. Yeah. Usually, we place our hands on the shawls and we have the prayer. I'm going to pray over the shawls now. You also, as though you are extending your hands, you can pray in unison with me. God, your heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for all the blessings that you pour into our lives. We thank you for this ministry, for these people involved in this ministry. Bless the ministry and bless the people, the recipients, those who receive these shawls. May they feel the warmth of your love. May they feel your healing power. May they feel the concern of this parish for them. May they feel the prayers of this group of people, those who always pray for the recipients. Bless our parish. Fill us all with your power. That all the prayers that we make to you may be answered. Give us the gift and grace that you may see in our lifetime. The answers to praises. 